What's going on, Wolfgang? I have watched Avengers Infinity War about 15 times since it's come out on digital release. And of course, it is coming out on Blu-ray and 4K very soon. If you haven't had a chance to get your hands on the digital copy, or if you're waiting for the Blu-ray and 4K to come out, I will be giving away a few copies of Avengers Infinity War on Blu-ray once it comes out. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment below with your favorite superhero. If you would like to increase your chances of winning, one winner I will be picking directly from Instagram or Twitter, so follow me on social media if you want to increase your chances of winning. So, there's a question out there that has been buzzing around for a while now that we finally got the answer to, and that is... Why did Thanos wait so long to collect the Infinity Stones? Let me explain. Since the first Avengers movie in 2012, we found out that Thanos is out to collect all of the Infinity Stones. But he starts out by sending other people out to collect them for him. In the very first Avengers movie in 2012, he gives Loki the scepter that has the Mind Stone in it. This is so Loki can retrieve the Tesseract, which is the Space Stone. The deal was that Loki would use the Tesseract to open a portal to Thanos' army that is waiting for him in space. The Chitauri would come in and then ultimately help Loki take over and then become King of the Earth. After Loki became King of the Earth, he would then hand back the Scepter, which had the Mind Stone in it, and the Tesseract, which is the Space Stone, back to Thanos, giving Thanos two Infinity Stones. Stark, you seeing this? Seeing. Still working on believing. But that didn't really work out for him thanks to the Avengers, and then Thanos was all of a sudden left with zero Infinity Stones. He then sent Ronan out to get the Power Stone for him, but as soon as Ronan found out what it was, kept it for himself. You may have celestial blood, but do you have moves like this? Dance off, bro! Ultimately, the Guardians of the Galaxy would end up defeating Ronan, and then they gave the Power Stone to the Nova Corps for safekeeping. Me versus you! It's on! Then, after the post credit scene in Avengers Age of Ultron, we see Thanos stick his hand inside the Infinity Gauntlet and say, Fine, I'll do it myself. And then, in Avengers Infinity War, we see Thanos himself go after all the stones, successfully collect them all, and complete his snap. So why did Thanos send other people to get the stones and wait so long himself to collect them? Well, we finally have an official answer thanks to Stephen McFeely and Joe Russo's commentary on Avengers Infinity War. And the answer was, he waited until he captured Nebula. In reality, what he really waited for was, he waited until he knew where all of the Infinity Stones were. Once he captured Nebula, he knew that Gamora knew where the Soul Stone was. Thanos did not know where the Soul Stone was, so he was waiting until he found the location for each Infinity Stone. So, he waited to go after the stones until he knew where each of them were, because, according to Joe Russo, the minute he goes after them, the forces of the universe are gonna line up against him. If he doesn't know where the soul stone is, then what is the point? This makes a lot of sense, because why go through a continuous battle against the forces of the universe if you don't even know where all the stones are? That battle would go on for a while, and now all of a sudden you have to go against all of these forces and figure out where the last stone is. So, there's the answer to why Thanos waited so long to go after the Infinity Stones himself. But I think this answer actually raises even more important questions. For me, when I hear this answer, I think, well, who are the forces? He could be talking about the Avengers, but I don't think so. This is Thanos we're talking about here. Sure, the humans of Earth are stronger than they anticipated, but this is the immortal Mad Titan Thanos. Uh, what exactly is it that they do? Kick names, take ass. He has taken over world after world after world. I don't think he's worried about humans. What I do think he's worried about is other super strong beings, such as Odin or Ego. Is it a coincidence that we don't see Thanos himself go after all of the stones until Odin and Ego are gone? Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Or is he worried about other beings, such as the Eternals or the Cosmic Beings? Is it a possibility that they could show up in Avengers 4? I personally think so. They've already said that they are adding new characters in Avengers 4 that we haven't seen yet, they've only been seen in the comics. 
So I think it is very possible that we could see some very, very strong characters in Avengers 4. But what do you all think? What do you think about the reason Thanos waited to collect all of the Infinity Stones? And do you think there is some extremely powerful being out there that we may see in Avengers 4? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, don't forget about the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below with your favorite superhero. Thank you so much for watching. Woof woof. Ha, ha, ha.